And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Triple-A action coming at you on the show. It's the Reno Aces and the Las Vegas Aviators. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. One gone runner at first. Stepping in the long ball threat, Gerald Raymond. This is another guy capable of getting tape measure home runs. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Armenteros makes the catch, and there's two down. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially with the right pitches field. that they see. Here's Ramon Laureano. Batting third, the center fielder. Bravo, Laureano. Two down now. On the ground to third. Zips it to first, gets him easily, ends the inning. Man at first with one gone. Here's a big power threat. Gerald Raymond. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? And first offering is fouled off. Come on, baby. See it up. Drive. Run around the runner, goal. Runner, runner. And he hits a ground ball right side. Oh, look at the stop. And they get the out. One down. And now Gerald Raymond. Now great speed and great power. Gerald. A great athlete, quite simply. Raymond. Hey, see it. Drive it. Here comes a pitch. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That one's got a chance. And it's gone, home run. He rockets one to right, his 18th home run of the season. It's four nothing. High fastballs, especially with good velocity, can be really hard to catch up to. But he stays tall, his top hand works extremely well, and he absolutely clobbered it. Gerald Raymond, the next to hit. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Hey, here we go, you got this. The why to kick the pitch. And that one hammered. That's back. And that one is off the batter's eye. Wow, out of here. His second home run of the game. And they add a run. It's five zip. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Now it's the power speed combo. Gerald Raymond. Now it's interesting he plays baseball. kind of a, a power now, spot roll. defensively, Raymond. but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has Here maybe above go. average speed, right but here. he does. First pitch right, just right, misses. Right. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. And a 1-0. 
This to third. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. So two on with two away. Now here is Dominic Canzone. At the belt and fires. There's a swing and a miss. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it'd surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Left-hand batter waits, and it's even up. Fletcher, the lead runner at second. Raymond at first, two out of the inning. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Well, a big win by eight runs. And when you have that kind of lead, you make it easier for the pitching staff to come out, make their pitches, pitch to contact, and not worry about giving up the lead. So nice job today all the way around to get the W. 8-0 is how this one ends for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.